Professor Hirsch Barash looks up from the pile of documents he is reading and says to the trial monitor sitting opposite him, I think we might have problems finding suitable patients for this trial. We'll need to prepare some sort of recruitment ad and have it placed in the local newspaper to encourage people to participate. But it's no problem. I'll just ask my research nurse to write something up. That's excellent, says Joyce, the monitor, as she gets up from her chair. But before leaving, she remembers that she needs to remind Professor Barash, don't forget to submit your advertisement to your EC for their approval. Otherwise, we can't use it, she says. No problem, replies Professor Barash in a loud voice as he opens the door to his office and motions her to leave. Goodbye. The following advertisement is duly scripted and submitted to the EC together with the EC application documents. Atopic Dermatitis Research Participants We are seeking participants who are willing to participate in a clinical trial involving the use of a new medicine for the treatment of atopic dermatitis. To be eligible for entry into the trial, you should be between 8 and 60 years old and otherwise healthy, but with a confirmed diagnosis of atopic dermatitis. While participating in the trial, you will receive the following benefits. Free medical examinations and laboratory investigations. An allowance of $50 per day for taking part in the trial, which lasts two days. Free refreshments. Free medical consultations from a qualified medical practitioner. For further information about the trial, please call Professor Barash at 2345-6789. Professor Barash is seeking participants willing to participate in a clinical trial involving the use of a new medicine for the treatment of atopic dermatitis. He decides to post a participant recruitment advertisement in a local newspaper. But before this, the advertisement must be submitted to the institution's EC for review and approval. An expedited review is undertaken by an EC member delegated by the EC chair. The reviewer finds the advertisement too commercial in nature by repeating the word free three times and also indicating the exact allowance amount. The written reply from the EC suggests that the four bullet points should be reduced to two. Free medical examinations and laboratory investigations and an allowance will be provided for taking part in the study. The letter also spells out the inappropriateness of using the phrase a new medicine and suggests wording along the lines of a medicine under clinical testing. The delegated EC member requests a revised version of the advertisement for her review and acceptance. Note, this advertisement is an example of undue emphasis on reimbursement and free medical care services.